let's talk about what happens when someone validates a body image insecurity that you have. People who struggle with body image issues tend to be very hard on themselves. They look for perfection in their physical appearance, which of course doesn't exist in anyone. And yet they look for it in themselves. What's really interesting is that people who have more severe body image issues, they tend to be very forgiving and generous in how they view the physicality of other people. But when it comes to themselves, they are so, so hard. They expect everything to be perfect. For example, maybe it's a matter of having uneven eyebrows and one of them being higher than the other or longer than the other or having a different shape than the other. Basically, not being perfectly symmetrical. And you know what? <laughs> That's a really common. That's really, really common. But for the person who is really struggling with their body image issues, having that validated, having other people observe and confirm that, oh yeah, your eyebrows are not perfectly symmetrical. One is higher than the other, or one is longer than the other, or yeah, they do have a different shape, can be devastating. And for the person who really struggles with their body image, something like that can be very triggering where they don't even want to go anywhere ever again. They just want to hide away, lock themselves up in their home and cry because their eyebrows are not perfectly symmetrical. Here's the thing that people with these really severe fixations on their looks, here's what you need to know. Even if people notice, they don't care. In fact, I have never heard anybody say, oh my God, that person's eyebrows are not perfectly symmetrical. How ugly. People don't care if your eyebrows are perfectly symmetrical. Nobody cares about that. Nobody except for you. People do care if they see you upset, if they see you sad, if they see you distraught. The people that love you, they care about you, and I care about you too. What seems like a really big issue to you is not to everyone else. People are very forgiving of these things. Most people do not look for perfectly symmetrical looks or perfection of any kind in other people. And the ones that do look for that are just covering up their own insecurities and their own self-worth issues. So you can let that go. The real issue here is what is so important about being perfect to you? especially knowing that perfection doesn't even exist. How did that become such a big focus for you? Get to the bottom of that. And there may be multiple pieces involved in there, but when you do get to the bottom of that, it won't be a big deal that your eyebrows are two different shapes or two different lengths or like, in my case, I don't know if you can see this, but I have, I, I have a scar on my eyebrow and nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. In fact, you know what's interesting about that? I got sliced there twice. <laughs> All of a sudden, people were noticing my eyes. Prior to that, they used to tell me, oh, I have such a cute smile. What's interesting about 
our imperfections is that those are often the qualities that enhance the other features on our face. It's the birthmark near your lip. Our imperfections draw attention to our other features. They make it easier for people to see the more attractive features that are near the imperfections. That contrast, there's something very artistic about it that captivates the human eye on an unconscious level. People don't consciously think, oh yeah, look at that little imperfection by her eye or look at that little imperfection by her lip. And wow, look at how that makes her lips look so much more enticing or that makes her eyes look so much more beautiful. People don't consciously think that, but if you start to pay attention, you will notice that it does happen on an unconscious level for a lot of people. Where there's attraction, there's attraction, but it's not gonna come from having perfectly symmetrical eyebrows or anything along those lines. Another thing that I wanna point out is both men and women can be very forgiving about physical imperfections. People with a lot of body image insecurities, they don't always know this because they, it's easy to get caught up in what we see in the media and the magazines and celebrities who have a full makeup team and they have every advantage and they have the plastic surgeries and the money to do the very best procedures they have a lot of help maintaining their appearance because their profession depends on their appearance for the everyday person for most people they really don't care they expect you to have imperfections with your body and they like your body anyway someone is with you there is some attraction there and if you sense that there is no attraction, but you're with them, then the problem is not your body. I would revisit what is that partnership really about? And what's causing that issue underneath that? The problem's not your body. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if people notice that you have a scar on your eyebrow, or if they notice that your eyebrows are not perfectly symmetrical. People don't care. You care. What is so important about that to you? Get to the real issue beneath that. And then, then you'll be able to leave your house without worrying about people noticing that your eyebrows are not symmetrical or that your nose is not perfectly symmetrical. You won't have to stay hidden away from the world crying being afraid that they're going to see what's wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with you, but there is something that is making you deeply unsettled with yourself and it's being projected onto your body. When you do resolve the real issues, those deeper issues, the body dysmorphia, the body image issues, it'll go away. It's just a placeholder. It's getting your attention, saying, there's something here we want you to look at. And you're looking, but you're looking in the wrong place. That's all. Let's talk about what happens when someone validates. I can only give you love that lasts forever. Or anything along those lines. For the everyday person, coffee time, rambling, those things are not important. 